Alright. So, let's talk about... Whew. Okay. When the narcissist, right, relationship-wise, okay, well, intimate relationship-wise, okay, uh, after they leave you, right, okay, or, you know, you leave them, either or, it doesn't matter, um, they've been gone for a while, say, like, two, three months, okay, When they realize, well, they realize pretty quickly that who or what, who they left you for, right? Thinking they were a better source of supply, quote unquote. They find out that they're not, okay? And when they believe that they can't get you back, right? Like, get you back in a relationship they will um, they will try to recreate you right and somebody else that new person or whoever else okay they will when they start to realize that that person right is nothing like you okay because when you when you guys separate <clears throat> you gotta remember the only reason that that narcissist got so big headed to where they thought they didn't need you anymore they realize shortly after they leave you right that your presence right it leaves with you okay your essence your your glory right you're anointing it stays with you right they can't take your anointing and go off and live their life right that belongs to you <clears throat> they don't realize the blessing that's in front of them when they're with you okay which is unfortunate for them they don't realize that you were sent and it was ordained, right? Nothing happens uh, spontaneous, right? Everything happens for a reason, right? And we talked about that they actually prayed for you. They, they were, you were the thing, not thing, but you were the person that they prayed for, right? To come into their lives. And when you were in their lives, they didn't realize that you were the person that they prayed for, right? You were the blessing to them, right? You were the last, the last stop, the last shot for them to heal from that childhood trauma, right? For them to um, come out of the lifestyle and li and destructive lifestyle that they were living. They thought that they can take they were getting from you and run off with it not so okay so when they realize this you're already gone right and you had been waiting there you had you were I mean let's just be honest you were waiting there waiting for them to come back right Waiting, giving them time to realize, right, to fix their mistakes and to realize that you guys are supposed to be together, right? Lifelong partnership. And you planned for that, right? But they were never planning for that. They were planning to have you around in their lives for the rest of their life, but they, didn't, they weren't planning to be with you for the rest of their life, okay? Um... So when they wake up to this realization, right, they've already treated you extremely bad, right? Um, alienated you, slandered you, 
abuse you, right? Mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, and it just like, it, it's like a wave. It just hits them, right? <sighs> so they can really never get you off of their mind. They can't. That goes with anybody like that. If, you, could, you know, people come into our lives, you know, for seasons and for the long haul, it just depends, right? But somebody comes into your life and that person has been purely loving to you, like genuinely and purely loving to you, you know, um, did everything for you, was willing to do everything for you, just out of the love that they have for you, right? Loved you for just for you, right? Didn't want anything from you. Uh, well, them. Didn't want anything from them, right? Never misleading them. Never manipulating them, right? Always being true to them, right? Being loyal um, and faithful, right? Because people take loyalty and use that in a, you know, wordplay <clears throat> to me loyalty is faithfulness right to me if I'm loyal to you I'm loyal to you in every way possible right but it, it just it covers all bases right so when they realize this they do start kicking themselves in the butt they do and they do regret it right they wish they wish that they can go back Right, they remember all those times when you had conversations with them, when you were telling them, "Hey, you know, I don't deserve to be treated like this. Like, why do you treat me this way?" Even when you, would, when you would say to them, "You know, if, if I did something, then let me know, so I can, you know, right that wrong." But they would never open up to you. They would never, you know, they would never bear their heart to you. Right. Now this new person that they're with is nothing like you. Nothing like you. Not even on the same, not even the same ballpark, right? They don't do the things you used to do. They don't speak like you speak, right? They don't, they're just nothing like you, right? now they're kind of like stuck in this situation right so usually they'll revert back to their old supplies which are even less than that right or they'll try to hoover back to you still never admitting their wrongs right never making anything right just trying to spark up old you know start to spark up conversation random things that like they don't even don't even make sense right sorry y'all my god this is good thing so uh they'll start to miss start to miss you right not because they love you though just the things you used to do for them so they'll try to recreate to you in this person, this new person, right? I mean everything, right? They'll try to make them do the things that you used to do for them, like breakfast, okay? Or dinner, or if you guys used to, like like me and mine, I used to, we used to um, when I used to cook, we were in the kitchen together, right? Talking or whatnot, or be on their damn phone, of course, 24-7. <laughs> But beside the point, um, they'll try to recreate everything. You know, we're grown, we're adults, right? Even sex, even sex. They'll try to recreate everything, okay? There's a way that you guys used to have sex, okay? Um, everything, they'll try to recreate the way that you dress. They'll try to recreate that in the new person, right? But it never, it never works because there's only one you, right? In this whole world, this whole universe, there is only one you, okay? Mm, this video's not gonna be that long, okay? Because 
Let's talk in my mouth. Um, so this is when you might start to see the hoovering go on too. Because now that person is getting worse treatment than you got. Okay? The treatment for the next person is always worse. It's always worse than the last, right? Even arguments. They're, they're saying that you, this person, they're telling this person that, <clears throat> you know, you're not like my la my ex or whatever. You don't do this, this, and that that they used to do for me. And woo, woo, woo. Which will cause the one they're with now to try to get at you in some type of weird, evil way, right? They'll start to hate you. Not that they don't already hate you from them slandering you and badmouthing you to them for things you never did. So, I just wanted to bring you guys that, right? What goes on in the this stage of trying to recreate you in their new person, okay? So, <laughs> that's all for now, okay? I'm not going to be doing that much talking for the rest of the day because my mouth hurts. But, um, yeah, so, I love you guys, alright? Talk to you guys on, probably tomorrow. <laughs> alright, so, be easy. Love you, alright? Peace. <laughs>